I'm going to talk about you today. Come on. <laughs> Alright guys, so today I want to talk about this guy. Some of you may recognise him. Hello mate. Yep. Hi buddy. <laughs> Let me talk. This is Bandit. Bandit the boxer, yeah? Yep, yeah, that's you mate. That's you buddy. That's you. Okay. Good boy. So Bandit has been, uh, well he's, he's a boxer. He is coming up to six this year. So Bandit's been coming to the farm three days a week right from the beginning. And uh, we've known Bandit a lot longer than that. We've, uh, Bandit first came on the scenes as a, as a training client when he was a cheeky little six month old puppy, as most dogs do, going through their adolescence and uh, needing a little bit of work. But uh, he's been with us ever since, haven't you mate? Since well before uh, farm trips started. Bandit loves everything at the farm. All, all the activities that we've got, he, he uh, excels at all of them. But um, if you've uh, been a long time fan, you might notice that he, he, he doesn't always start out that way. He, he likes to be the best. He likes to, to be really good at it. And so, as you might have noticed with this pool, uh, although he's a competent swimmer and, and a competent dock diver, um, he didn't want to get in the pool when we opened this. Uh, it was new to him. He didn't know what the ins and outs were. He, he, he took a little while to get used to it, um, and he didn't want to jump in the first couple of weeks. But then, once he figures it out, once he, he, he likes to work it out and get, it, get the game sorted in his head so he can really commit 100%. And then as you can see now, when, when uh, he's figured it all out, he loves it, you can't keep him out. He just... And he's like that with all the games. So um, he, he did the same with the, the big pool last summer. Um, he was the same with the, with the lure. Uh, and then even now with that lure, it's, it's one of his favorite things. And he's one of the only dogs that um, is what we call lure-wise, where he, he has figured out the mechanics of the game. He's figured out the, the course before it runs. Um, you know, and, and we get people ask us uh, uh, regularly, how does this lure work, you know? And, and this is a dog that's figured it out himself. So you'll notice that he runs the, the shortest possible course for that lure. So what that means is he'll, while we're walking it out, he'll run backwards along the line and follow it and work out what his running track is. Thank you, mate. And then so he'll run to the lure, he'll, he'll see it go past, try to grab it, and then run to the next point that he knows he can achieve, uh, waits for it there, tries to get it again, and then runs to the next point instead of uh, wasting all his energy following the full course. You ready, mate? Go. So that's just a, a bit of an insight into his personality where, you know, he, although he is fully committed once he understands the game and he, and he knows the rules and, and, and knows how to do it, um, initially though, likes to figure it out before, before diving in. Bandit uh, is, has held quite a few records around the farm and um, in, his, in his heyday, he held the, the record for fastest dog for quite, some, quite a few years. He... Uh, he would chase that quad bike and hit 54 k's an hour, no, no dramas, and held that record for quite some time. And only just recently has been surpassed by, um, and only by two dogs. One, one is a, a, you know our fastest Kelpie, uh, Luna, who's lightning quick, and then the other one is Duke the Whippet, who is built for speed. So, um, pretty impressive record for you know a, a, a boxer who. Um, can get up and move if he really wants to. He, he doesn't run like that uh, full speed all day anymore. He, uh, he, he realises that he's a, he's a six-year-old dog or almost a six-year-old dog and um, uh, he's, he's slowing down in his age but uh, you know every now and again if there's a dog that keeps competing with him for the ball uh, he pulls it out. He pulls it out and shows them hey I've still got it. Uh, and it's quite funny to watch because he doesn't do it that often. And then when he does, you you know you you sit back and watch, and he he turns it on. Uh, so he's still got it in there, but uh, he just doesn't have that all day full speed, um, you know, endurance like he did as a puppy. Ready? Go. 
So uh, Bandit also has a, uh, a bit of a, a stubborn streak. And, uh, you know, if I think back to the old farm with the old lure machine, we used to do a few runs and uh, then Bandit would, I uh, would pack up and say, well, that's, that's the end of it. Let's, let's go. Um, but, you know, we'd walk away from it and, and Bandit would refuse to leave. He'd sit by that lure box and flick at it and pour at it and tip it over until the lid came off and he'd start pulling the lure out again and pulling all the string out and just basically telling me, hey, what do you, what do you mean we're finished? I haven't said we've finished yet. So, uh, and he used to dictate the play like that. He used to be the, well, he's been, he's been the boss since the beginning, I suppose, but um, he, he's, he's definitely got that streak in him where he, he likes to tell us how it is. And, um, you know, a lot of the games and activities that we've got on the farm were, were sort of, uh, you know, designed for Bandit to see whether, you know, he gave him the tick of approval or not. Um, and, you know, I suppose that's, that's a little bit to do with a, a few of our dogs now. You know, they're not, they're not all young puppies as they were. They're, they're starting to get on and, um, you know, that's why we sort of uh, uh, got the recovery pool to uh, help the older dogs where, you know, we want them to still have that full activity without getting any sort of injuries and, um, you know, swimming's a really good one for him. So, uh, Bandit, he's still, he's still telling us how to run the show up here. Ready, mate? Go. One of the other things that he's pretty famous for uh, is his uh, old going home videos. And, you know, it all started at the, at the beginning, just like with the lure. Was, I told him it was home time and, and he didn't want a bar of it. So he would tell me that uh, he didn't want to go home by, by running off and hiding. And he used to have some of the best afternoon hiding routines. And it turned into a, uh, you know, a, a, a video in itself where it was just see if you could find Bandit. And he actually made it very difficult. There was a good amount of time there where, you know, I would spend an extra five or ten minutes walking the playground trying to find him and he'd be under the tractor, he'd be behind the hay bale castle, he'd be up in the opposite corner and he'd always look for wherever gave him the most time at the farm. And uh, I tried calling his bluff one day and thought, righto, well, I'll, um, I'll just drive off. And I drove, up, drove off and uh, up the side of the hill and he came screaming out, like not to catch a bus, but just like did a hot lap around the property like <laughs> it's finally worked, you know, I finally got away with it. I thought, well, there's nothing I can do here. <laughs> He's got me. He's just, that's what he wants. So um, it, it's, and it's evolved a bit now where, um, you know, we came to the new farm and he did hide every now and again. He used to, he used to sit down behind a hill or somewhere out of sight and I'd have to go and find him and um, then it evolved to him hiding in plain sight just blatantly sitting up there proud in the sun and as soon as I called him he'd get up and walk off or, or he'd just completely ignore me pretend I wasn't there uh, I'd be talking to him you know trying to convince him come on mate you can come back tomorrow and he just like wouldn't even look at me just giving me a cold shoulder and uh, and now it's uh, evolved to you know going to Arnie Sam at the door and let me in. He's up on the armchair and he's just hoping that the world forgets about him and he gets to stay there. So it's, it's been a constant thing for him right from the beginning is uh, never wanting to leave. Go. So one of, the, one of the other big factors as to why, you know, uh, Bandit's stolen a big part of our hearts is the fact that not only is he uh, a bit of a front runner with all the activities, but he's actually a really, really sweet like he's one of those dogs where if we get a real nervous dog on their first day um you know usually the first dog to play with it is bandit or if we've got a, a really small dog or shy or whatever he he will adapt his level of play and um how he plays to bring out play in the other dog and you know one of the one of the big ones was uh, was Flo, the the blind pug, who uh, all she wanted to do was have a friend, and all you know she would constantly just be the the happiest little thing that you know would never um, you know ne never have a, a, a downtime. But I remember one time when Flo and Bandit were sleeping over, um, 
bandit started licking Flo on the face and you should have seen the body language on Flo like, oh my goodness, I have finally found a friend and she just started jumping around with this absolute joy. And, uh, and you know, that's, that's just testament to the fact that there's so many different sides to bandit. He, he can be the, the um, you know, fastest dog out there or the, the best at something or whatever, but then he can also just turn around and, and be forgotten about in the background and playing one-on-one -on -one with a dog that, um, you know, is, is shy or nervous. And um, it just brings out a, a, big, a big picture on, on the type of dog he is and the personality that he's got. Hey, mate. Anybody? Go. Look at him. He gives the best stink eye. Look at him. Go. So one of the other distinguishing factors about Bandit is uh, well, there's a couple, but um, there's his stink eye or his, his side eye where uh, he can just completely give you the cold shoulder by just a half glance, looking over the top, <laughs> just to say, don't even think about it. But uh, the big one that, that stands out and is uh, one of my favorites is the size of this guy's tongue. Go! Honestly, he's got a tongue the size of a dinner plate. And uh, anytime he comes up and licks your face, he'll lick half your face in one lick. And it's... Um, it's definitely uh, uh, something that you, uh, I recommend everyone experience at one point in their life. <laughs> <laughs> Big bandit kiss. But, um, you know, in all, in all of the uh, time that he, you know, resisting going home and, you know, wanting to stay at the farm, we answer this question quite a lot from a lot of, lot of people asking is, um, you know, why doesn't he like going home? And it's got nothing to do with not not liking his home he's got a very very good home with very um you know dedicated owners that uh you know give him the best of everything when when i drop him home you know he comes up and lets himself in the door and you know only the best food is already in the bowl waiting for him uh he sleeps on the couch with fluffed up pillows and he he's got a really good life so um you know none of that can be um you know attributed to anything other than he, he's got uh, the best of both worlds you know we're his second family up here um and you know he's he's, he's just living the life any dog would, would love to live hey mate Oof, good boy ready bud ready bud go we could talk about bandit forever because he's got such a big personality and, uh, and he wears his heart in his sleeve. So, you know, there's always something to say about him, but um, the video can't go on forever. So we've got to end it somewhere. So this is Bandit. Ready, bud? Go.